already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got this King of Swords and it's with Temperance. Now, King of Swords, it can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man or person in your life. He'll often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. This could go either way. Just know that you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally when you get the King of Swords in a reading. Especially when this card does not represent someone that you know. So you may need to consider the feelings of others before you act. King of Swords, it's a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, or your expectations. But don't overextend your reach. Now it's with temperance. With this one, all of your relationships, they are likely to be going quite well. But maybe you could feel like you need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is to do what it takes to find that balance in yourself and with any goals, aspirations that you that you might have, and also in your relationship. So, Aries, King of Swords, clarified by the temperance, what I'm getting for you and your person, this recent past energy, is that For some of you, you start to realize that, or you knew that you're dealing with someone that's um, like this King of Swords. Um, this person could be a forceful type of person, really opinionated. Um, um, stereotypically manly is the King of Swords. This person, they would, they would overstep their bounds. Um, the King of Swords will mistreat you. It's a very, like I said, a very forceful energy. This type of person, they only use their head and not, not really their heart. Yeah, this King of Swords, it's known as the narcissist in the tarot. So... For a lot, of, a lot of you, you realize, yeah, that that's what you're dealing with. You realize that you're dealing with a, a, a narc. And you're trying to figure out how to bring balance to the connection. Because this probably threw a lot of you off balance, realizing that this is what you got here. Yeah, so, I felt like you didn't have a peace of mind for a little while there. And you're trying to figure out how to make this work. Because you realize, this is what I got here. How am I going to make this work? How am I going to bring balance to this? So... 
let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Two of Wands, and it's with the lovers. Okay, so this Two of Wands, with this one, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest, the Two of Wands. It can indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business. This could be personal. Or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling, if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize. Yeah, it's about keeping your eyes on the prize and just staying positive. Now, it's with the Lover's card. Yeah, the Lover's card is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So it's possible when this card appears that you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. So it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is trying to tell you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card, in your reading, it's saying it's safe to choose love because it's a time when love will be brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. Now, this could be either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be really happy about how romance is going. And others will notice how you're glowing. So coming up, Aries, two of wands clarified by the lovers. So, like I said, um, you're realizing what you're dealing with now. So you could be trying to make a decision because the two of wands, the card above the word present, it's about trying to decide. You could have two paths towards the towards your future, maybe two options. And because it's with the lover's card, you could be you could be wanting to go towards a soulmate, because a lover's card can be about a strong soulmate, or even a twin flame for some of you. Yeah, because if you look at the Two of Wands, the card above the word present, this man, he's he's got a wand on the right and one on the left. Yeah, the one on the right of where, you, of where you're looking, he's just got his hand tied to it. Now, the other one, he's got his, his body is facing it. He's looking directly into the eyes of that wand. And his ankle is tied to that wand. So, you could be thinking about going in that direction of the one that you're so focused towards. But you got your hand tied probably to, to this narcissist. But this lover's card is here. So you could be you could be thinking about someone that you had a strong connection with. And you you, you probably are thinking about about that person and maybe trying to decide between the strong soulmate or the person that you're with, this very forceful person, or, yeah, 
Or are you just trying to make a decision? Should you take this? Should you go? To, should you take a new path? Should you go down a new journey? What you know will be brighter, and it's sparking your interest. Or should you go for that new new path? Or should you stay with this person who doesn't treat you the way you feel like they should? Um, this lover's card could just be um, a good opportunity if you're not thinking about a soulmate or a twin flame. The lover's card can mean that there is a good opportunity, a really good opportunity. So, yeah, if you're not thinking about someone else, you could be thinking about just a, there's so much more out there that's sparking your interest than, being, than having your hand tied to this narcissist. So, coming up, you're trying to decide which direction to go because it looks like you could have two options two paths towards the future. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Page of Swords. Ends with the Nine of Pentacles. Now the Page of Swords can sometimes stand for a person in your life. Now if this is the case, it can represent someone who's younger than you. Because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student, it can indicate youth, it can indicate immaturity. Now, the page um, is often about some type of message coming in, someone reaching out. In this instance, it's not what you're hoping to hear. Um, this page of swords, it tells us that the person could be trying too hard pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you may need to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Yeah, the Page of Swords has a great deal of mental and physical energy. Now, it's with this Nine of Pentacles which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. It can mean that your financial worries are over, over for a while and that things in general will be going better than you thought ever possible. So enjoy this good energy and share your wealth, share your happiness with others. So your challenge, Aries, Page of Swords. Clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So, Page of Swords, that's an indicator of conflict or someone, um, maybe someone, your person, you could feel like this person that you're with, this King of Swords is, um, they're bringing conflict. And it's very challenging to deal with the conflict that they bring. Now, the Page of Swords is the type that will keep tabs on you. They'll stalk you and they wa they'll watch you. So, yeah, coming up, you could feel like your person is being really immature. Page of Swords, they do s things that you don't understand, you don't appreciate. Yeah. This person could be younger than you by a few days, a few months, or maybe a few years. But yeah, the Page of Swords, is, they, they do things you don't understand. You don't appreciate. They bring conflict. Um, your person could be keeping tabs on you and just watch, doing some silly watching you. And you, you're wanting a good relationship because the Nine of Pentacles is about just wanting wanting the best. Yeah, it's this, this, the way they're acting is making you want the best even more. 
You want you want the best that life has to offer. You want a good relationship. And you're realizing that this person is not on your maturity level. So that's a challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the four of wands. And it's with this ten of wands. Now the four of wands often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go. You'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going really well. And you'll be proud of yourself. And others will be proud of you also. Now, although this is a positive card to get in a reading, it it can indicate that you're going to need to keep your wits about yourself. That although you you deserve it, should treat yourself to some fun. Just know you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. So this card can sometimes mean that you could be moving or thinking about changing your place of residence. Now it's with the Ten of Wands. With Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. Because if you look at the Ten of Wands, it's the card below the word outcome. You see how this man, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load. Either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. <clears throat> so your outcome, Aries. Four of Wands clarified by the Ten of Wands. So yeah, like I said, your person, this narcissist, that you, this person you're trying to bring balance back into the connection, because they, they, they bring conflict. They could be bring, bringing some drama. They're not quite on your maturity level. So you're, you're thinking about. You're trying to decide on what to do. You could be having a difficult time bringing balance to this connection because this person is not easy to deal with. For some of you Aries, you're thinking about someone that you already know. That could be a soulmate or a twin flame or someone that you had a deep connection with. Some of you are thinking about how good that was and it's nothing like what you have now. Or some of you are just thinking about trying to decide on a new beginning, just a new path, a new a new day, even if it's not towards anyone else. You could be thinking about trying to make some great opportunities for yourself and not being so focused on this narcissist who doesn't treat you right. Or they, they don't treat you like you think they should. Because like I said, this king of swords, they will mistreat you. They'll overstep their bounds. They're stereotypically manly. So you're trying, you're still trying to decide. This person, they're doing some stuff that you really don't appreciate. They could be stalking you, this king of swords. And you're just ready for a good relationship. But we got this Four of Wands here, which is actually the Marriage and Commitment card for the outcome. Um, you could be ready for something serious. Your person, this King of Swords, could be wanting this with you. They could be wanting wanting commitment with you. But, but it's with the Ten of Wands. And you, you know that this would just be too difficult. This would just... This having marriage and commitment with this person, 
it would drain you emotionally. It would suck the life out of you. That's what the Ten of Wands can be about. Yeah, so they could be wanting commitment with you or marriage with you. That's what the outcome is showing. But you know it's going to kill you. Yeah, so that's a reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I would resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people in the reading can be switched. They can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person. Or you, your person can be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, just keep in mind the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say that enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that your New Year's is going well. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.